Hi Stampers, it's Tina Shaw from TinaLovesToStamp.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Fairborn, Ohio. Thank you for joining me today. I wanted to share this cute Christmas card that I made. This is the first one. Well, actually, it's the second pinwheel card I've made, but the first five by seven. And I just think it is the cutest thing how it just looks like a pinwheel. You can get it to stand up. Um, it does fit in a five by seven envelope. And I ordered these on Amazon because Stampin' Up! does not carry those. And I just used several um, stamp sets. In fact, I think I used six different stamp sets, which was crazy. But as you can see, I did the penguin, I did the deer, I did the Santa, um, the deer set again, the trees. I mean... Uh, <laughs> Everything is just so much fun to decide uh, what DSP to use and um, all your little embellishments. So, um, I did use the paper, the Designer Series paper. This is the, oh gosh, what's it called? Peaceful Prints. And this is available for free with the purchase of $50 during celebration. You still have another month. You have all of, all of September to earn that. But today is the Halloween card that I'm going to make today. So um, I'll go over all the dimensions with you. It is just adorable. Adorable. Whichever side you want to be the front. So let's get started. Now I've already gone ahead and stamped and cut out all of my little pieces, but I will go over them with you. And I will also have the dimensions on my blog, TinaLovesToStamp.com. So you start out with a piece of cardstock that measures five by seven and it is scored here are my directions. Um, this is basic black. It's five by seven, scored at one half inch, one and a half inches, two and a half inches, and three and a half inches. The wings, which these are called the wings, um, you're going to cut out three of those, and they are three and a half inches by five inches. And then the designer series paper, you do need four pieces. And like I said, I used the peaceful prints, three and a quarter by four and three fourths. Um, and then you're going to turn them over and use the other side or a different print from the same pack at two and a quarter by four and three fourths. And then I have little um, strips left over, uh, anywhere from like half inch to one inch wide, and then just cut those at four and three fourths. I also used assorted dyes um, and basic white cardstock, garden green, and red. And now that was for the Christmas set. But you're gonna use all the same measurements, only I'm using the pack of cute Halloween six by six designer series paper. So cute, it's just adorable. And there's so many different prints. Love, love, love the colors. And as you can tell, I have cut out um, some of the little ghosts and the cats and the bats and I don't know what all I got here. So anyhow, that's what I use. So that is um, the first thing. I used the um, tailor-made tags die set. And I used the frightfully cute stamp set. And the dies. So I tried to limit this this time to one set. I did go over and use a couple of the ones that are in the banner year. These were in last year and they are carried over to this year. So you can still get these. And of course you can get, get these. So my first piece. So. You've got your five by seven and then your scored, like I told you, at a half inch, one and a half, two and a half, and three and a half. 
you're going to use your bone folder and just go over all those creases. This is going to make the little tower piece or the little square in the center of the card. And you're going to put your glue or I'm just using my seal on that half inch piece. And then I'm going to fold it over to the one, two, second line there, and just press that down. Try to keep that straight on there. And then there's your first wing right here. So for this one, I'm going to put on this cute little paper here. And so these fit just right on these pieces. You can use glue or you can use your snail, whatever adhesive that you like to use. So you're just going to have a little bit of a layer all the way around. And then I have trying to grab the wrong one here. <laughs> I've taken some of those little tag dies and here are my little strips I was telling you about. And I actually, I left these. I haven't cut them yet. You could do them the whole length of the card if you wanted to, or you could do them just the four and three fourths. That would fit right over the DSP. But I think it just adds a cute little attraction on here. You can put it wherever you want to on this piece. And then I stamped Witch Way to the Candy and, and stamped the Witch. Again, that's from the Frightfully Cute set. And I'm choosing not to pop these up because this card is going to be pretty thick. And then you can um, put it whichever way you want. Which way? Got it? <laughs> I did stamp on here, but then I thought it would be cuter if I accented it with a different color. This also is one of the dies in that set, which is adorable. So I put that right on top. And then here's a little witch's hat that I just thought I would put on there as well. Because it's just cute. So there's our first panel. Okay, so now I'm going to take my second panel. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a glue dot, and I'm just going to put this right in the center. And I think I'll just put that right down at the bottom, towards the bottom. And then I cut out one of the little pumpkins out of the designer series paper. And I think I'm just going to put that about there. About there. Okay. I'm going to put that right there. So there's that one. And now, to put this one on, I'm going to unfold that. I do want them all going the right way. <laughs> so let's put it on this way. <laughs> and I am going to put my seal right on the folded piece. And you're going to attach your wing right on there. Give it a nice little rub. And then I also took a piece of the black and white twine. And I'm just going to stick that on there with a glue dot as well. So I'm going to kind of roll it around a bit. Put it behind the knot and stick it right there where the hole is so it looks like it's tied through there. So now I have this little piece here and this is the paper that I cut off from there. So I'm going to flip it over and use the other side. For the inside of this one. So I just glue that down there, and then 
I'm going to put on, you're so sweet, it's scary. Is this the right one? There and I guess that's it. Got so many different ones here, it's so hard to decide. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put that right there. And then this kitty cat is from a punch. You don't have to use this if you don't want to, if you don't have the punch, but if you do, you can. Or you could uh, stamp the little kitty. He's a tiny little kitty cat on there. But I thought, well, since I have it, I might as well use it. So I'm just going to sit the kitty right down here. Or you could do, instead of that, you could do the DSP kitty cat and put that on there too. Okay. So there's that wing. So now I'm going to fold it over one more time. And this time, I will use this one here. I'm doing this cute little ghost paper. It says boo on the back. Love the boo. <laughs> so I'm just putting on the wing, the DSP on the wing. Again, just put your seal on here right in that strip. Make sure I've got it going the correct way. And then just lay that right on top of there. And give it a rub. Okay. So yeah, on the back of that is the boo. Let's see. So this was the piece that I wanted to put over here. Just makes it easier if you kind of do it with the coordinating piece. My first one, I just put on it whatever I wanted to. <laughs> and they were crazy. So, <clears throat> this one, I also used some of the little cute cutouts. And this one says, happy haunting. Is this what I wanted for here? Did I think I wanted that over there? I think I want the boo. Mm, nope. I think I want this over here and this over here. There we go. That's what I wanted. So I'm going to put the boo here and put a little, couple little ghosts on here that I've cut out. Aren't they cute? Just kind of stagger these a little bit. And then I'm just going to glue this down to here. So you can actually just decorate these however you like. I um, just thought it was so cute to kind of just put on it whatever I wanted to. And try to keep it under control just using a couple of sets because I just kind of get carried away because I just love everything that I have. I don't know if you're like that or not. But I go crazy. Isn't that so cute? Okay, now I've got one more to put on to here, which is this piece. And then this is the back side of this one. So, I love this side too. Like I said, it's so hard to choose the um, print that you wanted to use because they're all just so cute. Okay, again, I'm just going to take this on here. This on here. And then this piece, which is the other side, will go over here. I was hoping 
hoping I would get this really quickly since I had everything already stamped. But it still looks like it's taken some time. So now I'm going to take these two and just put those on there. Just kind of stagger them. like that and then I'm gonna take and just put some glue <clears throat> in just a second on here oops I forgot to use my little strip here which I forgot the last couple like I said you can if you want to or not if you don't want to I thought they were cute okay so let's just put this over here if I can get this up here. Give it to me. I'll try to get this straight without tearing it. <laughs> there we go. And then turn this off. Let's do it from the back. There we go. There. Like that. And then this one I can put over here. Or I could even put another one over here or there. Or I could use this one. There's just so many different choices. <laughs> I think I'll do this one. Okay, but first I'm going to put the other little um, cobweb on. And just put that on there. Make sure it wasn't the last one that I did. That would not be good. Okay, and then I'm going to put this one over here. Okay. So cute. And then, let's see. I've got, oh, one left here. Here it is. There it is. The back side of that one. right here okay so I've just kind of stuck all these together here so this one I'm using this pretty little pumpkin and black stripe nothing says Halloween more than that right so there is that piece and then I stamped less trickin' and more treatin'. I thought that was adorable. And then this one, I think I'll just put him straight on here. And then I've got my little cobweb. And I'm going to just apply this piece with a glue dot. I, I went ahead and glued these down. And then I wanted this to be on here. You're so sweet. It's scary. So I'm just going to put some seal on there. And then I've got this cute little owl cut out. Now all of these cute little things are die cuts from the set. The same set. All of these little pieces are from this set there are so many of them oh my goodness like I've used this one a couple of times and that one the witch hat the owl the pretty little cutout the tree everything that I've used is virtually from that except for the cat and then I changed up I wanted the orange one in here so this is my card finished it is so stinking cute I hope you will make one. I love this DSP. It is adorable. And I love the pinwheel cards. I just think they're so cute. So this is my Halloween. And then here was my Christmas. We're doing the Christmas one in my class this week. So if you're interested in that, let me know. And we'll see if we can get you added in. 
you can reach me through my blog, tinalovestostamp.com. And I hope to see you really soon. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.